Hi guys, Sharon Scar here. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to show you step by step on how I transformed this IKEA cabinet behind me. It was actually a really simple project, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is buy yourself a calyx system from ikea and add on the door inserts i decided on an eight cubby version but you can also do this with the four build the cabinet and install the door inserts but not the doors it will be much easier to work on the doors while they lay flat instead of on the cabinet i decided to use overlays on the doors this is the harper style from myoverlays.com. i'll make sure to link it down below this is actually the second time I've used these overlays. The first time was on my daughter's dresser and I've really been impressed with how well they hold up. I noticed that the white overlays match the solid wood Ikea pieces really well, but on the Calyx system, the overlays were a little too white. So I decided to use some color match paint to help them blend in better. Afterwards, I sprayed on a layer of satin clear coat to seal them and ensure that the paint wouldn't scratch off. The next step was making the template for the grass cloth. You can just use the box from the Ikea door since it's nearly the same size already. I made the template by laying the overlay on top of the cardboard and tracing. I left the outer edge of the overlay and cut out the center square. Make sure you trim your template 3 eighths of an inch smaller than the overlay to keep the grass cloth from peeking through the edges after you stick it on. I bought a few different grass cloths from Amazon and this was by far the best one I could find for the price. It's a peel and stick and it also has a really nice texture to it instead of just a printed texture like the other ones I found. Place your template at a diagonal on the grass cloth and cut out the same number as your doors. Okay, now this part is really important. Before you start sticking the grass cloth on the doors, make sure you lay out the doors on the floor the way that they will go onto the cabinet, making sure that the hinges on the back are in the right place. The reason why is because you want to stick the grass cloth with the diagonals facing the middle on both sides. So you have a really pretty design when you install the doors, just like this. Next, I used liquid nails to glue the overlays on. Make sure you get a really good coat of this on the back. I ended up buying two different kinds of hardware to try out. I actually went with the second one, but they were both beautiful. So I will link them both below. Measure and mark where the center of the square is, drill your hole and install your hardware. So the overlays do make the doors thicker. So after you get the doors installed, if you have an issue where the hinge side of the door is rubbing on the cabinet like this, I can show you an easy way to fix it. You're gonna wanna screw this screw in a little bit more than it currently is. So I'm gonna screw it in where it's almost flush with the hinge. Now this is basically just gonna push the hinge away from that, uh, the hinge side so that it's, you have a bigger gap on that side of the door. Afterwards, you're gonna wanna push this hinge in so the screw is as close to this uh, opening as possible. Okay, so now as you can see, it's not rubbing up against that edge and it's much easier to open and close. And that's it for this easy Ikea hack. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and I will see you next time. Bye.